Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some new Doritos. I have the late night loaded taco. I have the spicy pineapple jalapeno. The spicy uh, pineapple jalapeno. Let's talk, are they the same size bag? This is a nine ounce bag. Mm -hmm. Okay, yours were much cheaper. Mm -hmm. Yours were only four sixty nine at Meyer. Okay. Mine were five forty nine at Kroger. That's expensive for this little bitty bag. Five dollars and forty nine cents. Mm -hmm. I think that's a lot. Um, I do have to say about the ones at Meyer, the the pineapple. Um, they, we only in our area have only seen those at Meyer. Yeah. So we haven't seen them at Kroger, Walmart, uh, Target, anywhere else, mm -hmm. only Meyer. Now these that, that we're gonna review first, the uh, loaded taco, these, as far as I know, are ex uh, exclusive to Kroger stores. So, you know, next year they might come out at all the stores, but right now you can only get them at Kroger owned stores. So, um, and we had to ask for them. They hadn't got them out yet. No, they, I want to say the guy's name was Josh. You know, I took note of his name and I thought, I need to remember his name. Uh, he was so nice. Mm -hmm. He got on the radio and because they, Kevin looked at the app. They said they were in the aisle. We went to the aisle. They were not in the aisle. So he, the guy got on the radio and uh, they hadn't put a display out, had they? Mm -hmm. So, so he brought me a couple bags of them, and I said I just want one. So it's funny he said they were in the pickup area, so like where you would get your groceries and order pre-order them, pick them up. They were in that area, so they could give them to people that, that ordered ahead. I don't know why. Ah, so they hadn't got them out. But what about yet. people that want to buy them the store? I don't know. Uh, but that was nice of that guy to, to help us out because if we had not gone to him and, and I asked, I wouldn't have got them at all because I have not seen these at our Kroger. This was at a Kroger in the next town over. Um, so this, uh, these have nine servings, about 11 chips, 28 grams, and 140 calories. Uh, they smell terrific. I love tacos. I love like chili, chili sauce, tacos. I don't know if the loaded part's going to be there. I don't know, but I just, I love that. There was mm. one that was really good. The, the, mm, this no. one's still hard. I want that one. It, it definitely has that taco flavor. Salt, garlic powder, tomato powder. Onion powder. Mm -hmm. I got a little of the tomato. Oh gosh, I love that. A little bit of onion. Paprika like extract. It literally tastes like a taco. Swiss cheese. Um, these are probably my favorite Doritos that I've had. They're yeah. very good. That, and you can lay it on your tongue like this. What's, what's neat about these is, it's not just a tortilla chip with taco seasoning. It actually has a little bit of a tomato flavor. It almost makes your mind think you're tasting lettuce and tomato. I mean, you're almost getting a lettuce-y kind of flavor, too, you know, but it seems like that. Because no. your mind inserts things that are missing, and it inserts that in because it's normally how we eat them. And we, um, it, it, really said, it said Swiss cheese on here, yeah. but we put cheese on our taco. You, it, you would believe there was cheese on there. Mm -hmm. Like, so what Kevin's saying is right. The tomato, the lettuce, the... The meat, the not necessarily a meaty flavor, but the mm -hmm. the seasonings you would put in the meat. Yeah, That's the what I should say. The spices in the meat, not the mm -hmm. meat. But it's it's they're delicious. Yeah. Those have got to be my favorite Doritos. They're they're very very good. I wish they would sell those in the uh, smaller bags. Yeah. And yeah. They might at some point in time. You know, it depends on how long they're going to be around. Because you you go through periods where you buy the individually packaged uh, bags of Doritos. I've never been that person. That would turn me into that person if yeah. they had that taco because I love that. If you're a fan of like, um, uh, not barbecue, but like the chili cheese yeah. type thing, kind of you would enjoy chili that. Chili powder kind of flavor. Yeah, you would enjoy that. Okay. Very good. Now, these are the ones from Meyer, and we almost didn't see these at Meyer. They were hidden on an end cap, but there weren't very many of them is the thing. If we had not specifically, if Kevin found them, if, he, if we had not specifically been looking for them, we would have missed them because they were just, I mean, there were literally only a couple bags left. Um, you could have easily missed them. Spicy pineapple jalapeno. Should be interesting. 
11 chips, 140 calories, nine servings. Okay. So you get a couple more chips for 10 calories, I think. These are de definitely a different color. Yeah. One thing about the tacos too is that, that corn tortilla flavor really came through. Ooh, you smell the spice. I'm the smell the yeah. fold over. Ooh, a fold over. <laughs> it's more of a rollover, but. That spicy, I mean, uh, that sweet pineapple is interesting. But then it kind of hits your tongue with jalapeno spice. I don't know if I like these or not. I'm kind of on the edge. You get a sweetness. It's almost like, it's like a pineapple candy almost. It's mm -hmm. a very, it's very sweet. Like a sauce or a juice or something. It's very sweet. But immediately, immediately, like you don't get a chance to really fully enjoy, like enjoy that. It before the heat hits you and hot, yeah. it's like a smack <laughs> it um it really um it tingles your whole mm -hmm. my whole tongue my whole mouth mm -hmm. is just tingling so it's not flaming hot it's not like it's on fire but no, it's but just it's pretty a, dingly it's, it's a tingle um you know i i i I want to eat more though for the I sweetness. I, I want to eat really more for the sweetness, mm -hmm. but I don't really want one any more for the the spice. Now, one thing you don't really taste unless until after you've eaten it is uh, the jalapeno flavor, like the green pepper flavor. You get it more after you've eaten it, like as an aftertaste. Like right now, I'm tasting jalapeno. Mm -hmm. That's what I taste. But at first, it's all sweet pineapple. Then you get heat. Then you get the pepper kind of flavor, and you're left with pepper. Mm -hmm. They're nice, but they're too hot for me. And you have to like something sweet, and it's it's different. Right. I don't want pineapple on pizza. I also don't want pineapple in Doritos. Or I, something spicy. Yeah, I just don't. I just don't. I love pineapple. Pineapple's so delicious. By itself. By itself. I don't want it on that. And I know, that's controversial. Uh, if you like it on your pizza, you go for it. Um, I just do not like sweet on... with savory thing I, with the pineapple with the pizza or, or pineapple with the Doritos. For me, that's the first place it went wrong is when that sweet hit my mouth. I just don't like you know, it. Like sweet it's Doritos. not enjoyable to me. If they did these with, remember Pringles came out with the white chocolate ones and all that? I didn't like those no. either. I don't want that sweetness with the, I just don't want it. So even if it's they- It's we like sweet like popcorn, but not sweet chips. No. To me, it, it does not work. No. Even when like Lay's did those chocolate covered ones, mm. I don't like them. Like those when Reese's, Reese's with the potato chip, we don't no. like those either no. really. No. no. Isn't that funny, but we like it with pretzel. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we just, you know, that, hey, we're a good couple. We, we pair well together. So, but you all might like that stuff, but I would, I think there is an audience for those. For oh, sure. I do too, but it ain't me. If you, if you like that <laughs> sweet heat, then you might really like that. It's just know that you really do taste the pineapple. I mean, the pineapple is a strong flavor yes. at first. Mm -hmm. um, so they did a good job of doing what they said they are. I mean, they yeah. really did. Oh, yeah, they did. Uh, they're just not my personal flavor. My, I would pick these all day long. And it kills me when they have store exclusives like this. I know a lot of you have said... I wish they wouldn't have store exclusives. I wish they wouldn't either. I wish they wouldn't either. I feel the same way you do because uh, there are stores in other places that we don't have here in Central Kentucky, and uh, that that so, so yeah. So there's a lot of stuff that you all get in your area that we don't get to try. It's it's not right. It's not fair. I totally agree. So I wish everyone could try these. My feeling is though, eventually they'll come out because so. I would many, think so because they're really good. So many times Pringles has come out with an exclusive flavor. It's exclusive to Walgreens or it's exclusive to Kroger. And then a year or two later, people are like, oh, new Pringles are coming out. No, they're not new. You just never got them before. They were at these stores and you don't have those stores. So they're new to you, but they're not new. They've actually been out for a while. So I do wish everybody uh, could get them, but those are my favorite. These are really, really good. Absolutely. So I will have a picture for you at the end and thanks for watching.